Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I organise my entire life using the app Notion. You've probably heard of Notion before, if you haven't, definitely go check it out, I would definitely recommend it. I discovered Notion a few months ago, I'd heard of it for quite a long time before, but I just never properly checked it out because it felt like a lot of hassle to learn sort of the ins and outs of how to use it and then I actually gave it a go and once I sort of got the hang of it, like it is, I use it every day, it's really really helped me out. By the way, this video isn't sponsored, I just love Notion. All of the things that I say in this video are like my own opinions, but they're all good. <laughs> so if Notion does want to sponsor me, I mean, uh, I would not object. The first thing when I open up my Notion is the bar along the side that has my favourites bar, which is basically things that I use every day. And then there's the workspace that sort of has everything. In the favourites bar at the top, I've got my university stuff my to-do list which i do use every single day my habit tracker and my workout tracker then in my overall workspace my workspace as a whole has sort of been categorized into university health financial my book work life planning and organization and youtube the first section is university which is probably also one of my most used sections because i'm always doing uni work i really like this because it kind of helps me keep everything organized to do with uni especially from home there's so much like information being thrown at me and i'm getting emails all the time i've got a picture of the university at the top the first thing on the list is my course because i'm doing a forensic investigative psychology course in this page i've got separate pages for modules assignments and my timetable in the module section i've broken down all the modules from obviously year one year two my placement year and year four so that i can keep track of what all my modules are and what i'll be learning the next thing is assignment i keep all my assignments in this page so that i don't sort of forget about any and i can keep track of them i'm currently working on three i'm currently working on three assignments at the moment so that's what is there and then i can sort of check them off when i've done them and we also have weekly some short weekly exams so i put all the results from that in there which is really helpful to like refer back to so the next thing i have in my university folder is the study plan which includes the overall study system for each topic a some things that i want to do every day in terms of university some things i want to do every week some study tips that i just write some study tips where i just write down any any tips that i'll have seen in a youtube video or in an article or anything like that it just sort of helps keep it all in one place and then i've got my note taking system and then underneath this i've got my academic planner which as you can see has people's birthdays important uni dates work due dates exam dates resources and references term dates contacts student email university bucket list and career opportunities university bucket list was something that i made at the start of the academic year because i kind of wanted to to set myself some goals of what i wanted to achieve and i think it would be nice to look back and see what i have achieved out of those goals when i finish this year or my course in general final thing on the university page is a list of useful resources which is just all the other miscellaneous information like the library opening hours and website links and commute time and parking and things i very recently added a new section to my notion for like class notes and things so i'm not really an expert on this bit yet but someone really really kindly made me these thumbnail covers for my classes so look how cool they look first of all the colors are amazing and the font looks really cute and i'm so I absolutely love how it's turned out so yeah thank you very much for those because I really appreciate it and they look awesome you can kind of pick a thumbnail to go on them it really makes them stand out which I really like another really really cool thing about Notion is that you can sort of embed links or documents or something into it so I currently use Word for all of my class notes that are typed up so all I have to do is all I have to do is embed this in here and it will put all my previous notes that I've made into here so I don't have to go through all over again and sort of type them all out it just sort of puts them in for me which I love that is like amazing it saves me so much time the next thing that I've got is my health page which has my workout tracker some recipes my habit tracker some food ideas health goals and gym routine I've gotten a lot more serious about workout plans and things like that over the past couple of months so this is a great place to keep it all together the workout tracker opens up to this page with a table in where i can put the date 
and then what exercise I did on that day and sort of how long for. I think it's really cool to be able to look at this table from a glance at the end of the month. Also, it's really motivating to get me to actually keep up with my workouts. The next bit I've got is some recipes, which I absolutely love because it's all in one page. And then if I want to make a meal and I don't remember how to make it or I can't decide what to have, then I can just like go over to this page. Once you click on them, they open up into a page with the actual recipe on. So it really is all in one place. The next bit is my healthy habit tracker. I've made quite a few videos on habits. I will link them up here somewhere. They did have a really positive impact on my life. So I think keeping track of them again kind of keeps me accountable. And then at the bottom, it gives you like a percentage of how much you completed that week. So I can sort of look back on how well I'm doing with completing all my habits this week. And I think that's quite cool. And I've got all my gym routines for whenever I can go back to the gym. The really good thing about Notion is that you can have it on both your laptop and your phone. So I can open up this exact same thing on my phone when I'm in the gym and sort of see what gym routine I'm doing that day. At the moment in the UK, we are in a lockdown. So I've started doing a home workout program, which I've put all the links to it in here and then a sort of tracker of how it's going. The next section is my finances. This is a really, really simple section. There's honestly not too much to say about this. I have my budget at the top, which just sort of tracks everything that's going in and out of my account. In this section, I've also got money that people owe me, some ways to make money and my petrol budget because if I didn't have a petrol budget, I think I would just always go over the amount and not have enough money to keep running my car because my car is actually, Definitely one of the most expensive things that I own. Okay, so the next section is to do with my book. This kind of helps me keep everything organised in terms of where I'm at with editing my book and everything. So I've got my editing plan that kind of shows me where I'm at at the moment with editing it. And then I've got an outtakes bit because there are a lot of parts of my book that I love that I can't, like, they just don't really fit the whole vibe of the book. So this is like an outtake section that maybe could go in a sequel or another book or something like that. The next bit is another really short section and it's my work folder which is as I said very small. It literally just has my current job status and any additional info about like interviews and potential jobs or like job opportunities or my CV or like relevant information so that's all in there. The next section is my overall life section, which is basically just everything that didn't fit into all the other categories. So in this section, I've got my goals, my book tracker, adventure kind of goals, moving out stuff, important calendar dates and stuff like that. In here, I've also got my book tracker because I really, really enjoy reading. And these are all the books that I've read recently. Then my important calendar dates, which is something that I use all the time. And it's basically just a digital version of a calendar that I've made. I've got from 2020 till 2022 in like drop down lists and then when you open up the drop down list it gives you each month and then when you open up the drop down list of each month then it tells you what I have going on in that month. Underneath that I've got my book of inspiration is basically where I kind of keep all the things that inspire me. I always try and think on the more positive side of things anyway but sometimes it's a lot harder than others so it's really nice to have these reminders of my positive affirmations or a massive list of things that make me happy. The next section is probably one of my most used pages in Notion which is my planning and organisation folder. I've got my basic weekly structure for every week, my weekly plan for this week and the next week, a list of excess things, my today's to-do list which is always in my favourites bar because I use it every day and then a little sort of calendar blocking. So as you can see here, I've got my calendar blocking outline. So in the basic weekly structure, this sort of contains all the things that happen every single week. So I've got that structure there that I can just make a duplicate of. Really nice to have my weeks planned out in advance because otherwise I do not know what's going on and that's really not ideal. Got my to-do list written out the night before. So then when I wake up, I know what I'm doing. I can get sort of straight into my day and it just makes things a lot easier. The excess things list which is basically you know when you kind of think of those things that you need to do at some point soonish but you don't have any kind of set time frame on them for example I need to get my car washed or buy my Christmas presents or whatever something like that I'll put that in the excess things list so that I remember that I've got to do that at some point but not today or in this week and the final section is 
content creation but i've just called it youtube so my youtube section of notion is obviously where i plan out all my videos keep all my video ideas things like that so the first thing i've got is a content calendar which basically is where i put all of my upcoming videos i've got all my video plans and all my video ideas as always thank you so so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please feel free to comment them below and i will do my best to answer them but yeah thank you so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed this video i will hopefully see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.